Hello, this is uh, Keith uh, Much, KB1RBI, and uh, here I have the uh, ATU uh, 100 by N7DDC. It's a 7x7. Seven seven. Um, this is a video warning uh, people who are purchasing this that are trying to operate on six meters. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a rough time. I have a um, a multi-band antenna. Um, let me just go to eBay. Just give me one second here. Okay, so this is the antenna I'm using. I'm using a uh, ham radio antenna, SEHF 360 fiberglass, vertical, 80 to 6 meters. Uh, without the antenna tuner, I get about, um, let's see here, KB1 RBI testing, and I have it, sh yeah, I get uh, 1.7 on bypass, KB1 RBI. Um, I get about 1.7 with it on bypass or reset. Hold on one second. All right, uh, continuing on here. I got into a QSO with someone else when I was testing. So the ATU 100, uh, one, 1 1.8 megahertz to 55 megahertz. It's supposed to handle 100 watts, but on six meters, I ran into a problem. Two problems. Um, right now, I, I have it on bypass mode. I'm, uh, it's not. It won't even. It won't tune on 53 uh, me megahertz on six meters. Now watch this. When I turn it on, watch this. Yeah. I shut it off. I shut it off. And the noise goes away. Doesn't do it on the other bands. On on 80 meters, on 10 meters, everywhere else, it tuned up and worked fine for the most part. Um, I have, didn't get a chance to test it at full power. Um, I'll tell you though, when I was when I tuned up on on six meters and I tried running above 50 watts, smoke poured out of the charging port. I, I'm not joking you smoke actually started coming out of the charging port on this thing So if you're going to use this for six meters be careful um, Let me just um, KB1 RBI testing now I have it off and when you turn it on it uh the display even though it's off the display uh, shows what's going on and it's uh, bypassed right now it's on reset and I'll, I'll just do it again to show you all right so I'm gonna turn it on and of course when I turn it on let me turn that down when I turn it on I get a you know 80, or, yeah, 80 dB, uh, 80 S units over of noise. So let me let me try tuning. So, so I'm gonna hit tune. It tuned. KB1 RBI testing, but the SWRs are 2.3, 2.4, 2.4 on SWRs. Now if I reset it. Three, two, weird. I was just getting 1.7 on on 50, 52 megahertz. Let me reset again. Two, three. I'm gonna try tuning again. And it just reset. So I'm going to try lowering my power. Twenty two watts. I'm only getting eleven out KB one RBI. 
Yeah, this is crazy. It, it sucks on six meters. This thing blows on six meters. So whoever's advertising this for it to work at any amount of power on on six meters is is blowing crap out their ass. I'm sorry. Fa a complete failure. Everywhere else it works fine. See, I'll go. Whoops. I'll go to 28 megahertz. I'm on AM. I'll hit tune. 1.19. I gotta hold the camera better. KB1 RBI testing. Now let me turn the power up. Wind this baby right up. Oh, it is up. So see what I'm putting out. 82 watts. 60 watts. And I'm only getting 22 out according to this unit. I'm going to tune again. So that's on uh, that's on 10 meters. Now the antenna I'm using is a um, oh wrong mouse. The antenna I'm using. is an SE HF360 and it handles 80 to 6 meters and it says on 80 meters I need a uh, antenna tuner 17 antenna tuner tw 12 meters antenna tuner 6 meters antenna tuner and I'm supposed to get one over one with it with it with an ATU so let me let me go back up to um, six meters 50 50.239 whoops wrong button my power is set low I'm gonna reset it without the antenna tuner tune reset Now the radio is showing on the SWR meter two for an SWR. KB1 RBI testing. I'm going to try to tune again. Now I got a. I'm sorry. KB1 RBI testing. Now I got a 1.2 uh, SWR at 19 watts, only putting out 13 watts at 66%. So, if you're going to use this for 6 meters at any amount of power above 35 watts, forget it. Just, just forget it. False advertising, I'm sorry six meters it's a failure works good on the other bands so seven three kb1 rbi